Corp. Alright, guys. Ah. Let's see, it's the next day. And uh, this guy over here is actually being somewhat smart. As in... He's actually cutting off segments, so I can't actually get here and connect with our ally just yet. Which makes you think he's a player, for one. Is your comment yet? Let's say your capabilities are probably diminished as hell. So, yeah, let's do this. Bang, bang. Shimalama, bang, bang. I mean, realistically, I don't think I can take this out. What level? Level 2? I would need an anti-tank gun there to take care of the tank. Oh, hey, look, a use for it. Actually, it's considered a light tank, so technically it doesn't help here as much as I'd like it to. But, thankfully, it still does, like, four to them. What's like, uh, oh yeah, increasing my manpower production. Let's look at the research, though. So, Murderous is doing great. Scout mechs doing wonderful. Let's go for the next anti-mech upgrade. So, it gets longer range. And, um, no, yeah, hold on, so they had it for one day where it showed you the actual increase to it and got rid of it, weird, so right now has, our current model has 60 and then goes up to 70. Okay. Yeah, Scumex have been improved though, and um, yeah, is that a destroyer? I can guarantee you the game had them do it because of me having subs. It would not surprise me whatsoever. And the game has done that before too, where I'll make it into the sole purpose of just countering me when the people that own them for like an end game month until then. Right, um, okay, we gotta keep pushing the line though. You, you feel me? Let's bring them down here. Because all these people could easily take them on, I feel. Like, together as a group. A lot of motorized here though. I'm actually enjoying the unit quite a lot. Though. Ooh, it looks like I can just make a lot of railroads, believe it or not. So do that after I get some more subs started. Actually, I probably shouldn't be doing subs. I need to go to my oil places and build industries at each and every one of them. Um, you don't... Wait, what? Nice visual glitch. Oh, yeah, level 1, of course. Really, I didn't just default to that. Oh, well. So, an industry here. You need more oil places. Maracaibo. So, level 2 industry. Let's go for it now. And then we got one down here. Ooh, Guayaquil. Nice. Do that. I know we captured the oil. Oh, no, it's a quick way. Okay, so... We do have extra oil now for all our upper provinces up here. Alright. So let's see here. I'm trying to think. Um, I should probably go for sub now because I think I have just enough oil for it. Yeah. Bam. I think medium X also take oil. Yeah. Sadly. Infantry that doesn't, even though we don't got the manpower to make normal. No, actually, motorized takes less than normal infantry. Interesting for sure. Okay, I'm kind of peeping these areas, see if any of them has got like a barracks already built. Oh, you do. I just have to repair it. Then up here, we can actually just make motorized. But yeah, thanks to my scout mix though, I have a pretty good read on every potential front line. I mean, look at this. I know the Dominican, or Dominion, sorry, 
of Grand Para as an unit. I know that the Guaypur Union only has an infantry. I mean, in fact, National Bolivia is going to be a hard one to swing, honestly, and win. Because they have a lot of light tanks. It seems like they're focusing on that. Because yesterday was just level 3. That's a good thing I do got mechanized Because I think they're more deadly than them. No, they're not. So that's why my artillery guns. But once I get this guy down here, I'll be able to get more information on his stuff. As in down here. You know. And this ally hasn't been doing anything like the last two days since we joined up so i'm starting to think he did it so i could carry him if that's the case i'll just kick him out if i get enough points to win honestly <laughs> because he needs to pull his own weight too believe it or not or else it'll never work also i think we got peru basically encircled here so i might try to capture that eventually yeah, they may start attacking too with how low that morale is. I wouldn't blame them. But our overall rating with most of these factions is pretty low. Believe it or not. So yeah. Um, how's up here going though? I mean, if they attacked, I'd probably be screwed realistically because of the artillery they got. Because my scout mech would be rendered useless. But I can like legitimately see every single unit the Federal Republic of Central America is running. Well, something is, yeah, let's say they have like people up here. Like, are they trying to invade Cuba or nah? Speaking of Cuba, nice. Yeah, once they're gonna have V range upgrade with this, so I should be able to probably see what this guy's got. In fact, I can do it now. Okay, he's focused on normal infantry. I mean, I'd say we won this war, though, realistically, because they lost most of their cities. And I get to the end of the day before I have into Fogasta. Or whatever. So once we run through them, I'll have him run down here to grab it. Because these guys are probably going to be attacking this, if I had to guess. I don't know. They're attacking... This is Bolivian. Wait, what? National Bolivia. Attacking Neo Inca. Interesting. So that would be these guys right here. Yeah. So he's essentially capturing this. Okay. I find that interesting. So he is running Mechanot. Ooh, they're not the high level though. Interesting. So he's legit hedging his bets on his tanks. Not a good idea, in my opinion. So yeah. Uh, are you the one? Okay then. I'll, I'll need to have them wait because I'm not going to lose the city to some separatists. Realistically speaking. Alright. They could still swing it though. They still like a big numbers advantage, in my opinion. I mean, I can send these guys in here. I mean, this little five group can still mess up light things pretty good. And if I lose them, that's kind of a. I know it's best to say it's actually kind of a bonus because I don't have to do the daily cost for them, which wouldn't really change much. But yeah. Um. Hmm. I really look into Cali and see if I got another one of those anti mech guns going. Which I do. <clears throat> I mean, I'm having thoughts, mate, since I have so much, you know, rare resources. I'm thinking maybe going for Siege Mech. Honestly. So this is walking, but what about shooting stance? What's its attack range? That's what matters. 120, nice. Is it in the new switch and marching and shooting? There's a production. Yeah, I could wing all of that. I have enough for it. So, yeah, I'm definitely probably going to go for it once my motorized get that upgrade, though. I just need to figure out uh, what do I need for it. Let's go up to Baron Quill for it. It's not going to take a lot of oil if I had a wager. That's probably support, too. Yeah. 
So to make it, I would need a level 3 Ordnance Factory. Yeah, I can swing that. In fact, over here would actually like be the perfect place for it. And yeah, I could definitely afford it. It depends what's Kelly making, though. Oil? Yeah, I'll keep it then. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one, though, y'all. I'll catch you in the next episode tomorrow. And as requested by some of y'all, I did turn this series and my conflict one into a playlist. So y'all can just have one sit down, a pure straight conflict or iron order, or even vector, or Sansa Coliseum. But that's right now. That's going to be it for this one, y'all. As I said, have a good one. Peace.